Hello, my name is Roland Jung. Just want to show you something I came across today. The one big reason why I think we all need ProPanel. Here is the reason. Look at this. I'm actually here in eView. eView is nothing else than our project on a shareable cloud. Look at this. This project seems to be coming out of nowhere. Somehow it's actually sticking out of the, the, the panel. I see it, I don't see it here, but of course if I go to the side, I can see it here. It actually pops out. So what a mistake if I would have actually started my project. Of course we have all these nice pages, which typically, you know, if you go to schematics, you won't see it. If you go drill it down to some different, you know, pillar materials, you won't see it. If you go to the typical panel layout, you won't even see it there because, well, let's face it, if you do a panel layout page like this, it looks at it from a top front view. You, you look at the door page and you concentrate on what's on the door. You don't necessarily see what's happening there. So, no, you don't see it. <clears throat> so, of course, it's actually on the 3D. So, let's take a look here. So, of course, it could be an e-plan here, pro panel right here. I have Pro Panel version 2022, and here I'm actually in the layout itself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in, zoom out, and see a little bit if I have some kind of a view that can actually show me that I have indeed these kind of representations, but I missed them. Uh, somehow when I went work on the front view, I did not see what you see on the side view. You can really clearly see here it actually exceeds it. So what really happened behind the scene is that this panel that I chose and this panel that is there is actually one of the panels that actually does the job. But if I go and check out here through the retail parts, I will most likely find a different panel that is uh, suitable for this that is a little bit deeper. So let's try it out. If I go here on my layout space, I pick up my panel here and I right mouse click. There's an interesting menu here that says exchange part. Let's try this. I exchange this part and what I'm looking for is a different enclosure. I want to look for an enclosure that actually might do the job. In this, um, here in this general, let's say in Rital, I can find them, they're all here. I'm going to look for a 1054 so 1054 500. This one here is actually the same size to 600 by 600, but it is actually deeper. So let's try it out. So I do exchange the part. It's gonna tell me if this is the one I want. Yes, I do. And here we go. <clears throat> let's take a look. It actually could reposition 68 different parts, which is perfect. Now let's take a look again. If I look at it from the side view, it actually fits. If I look at it from the top where the top here is somewhere in this list here top view yeah it fits also looking at the front it actually does fit i just it just took me seconds to exchange something imagine i would have waited until the panels there until i start assembling the whole thing and figure this out i mean imagine i now have to buy a new component scrap the old component all the time saving because you are working with the real thing, with the digital twin. You're working with the real assembly one by one. Every component is there. And now, of course, I can regenerate this whole thing, send it up to eView, eManage, whatever, to share it with others, and it will just be perfect. In a matter of seconds, this is efficient engineering using ePlan ProPanel. This is the main reason why I would use it.